Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and uh, in this video we're gonna look into Libra Sun Moon and also a uh, rising tarot, uh, weekly tarot reading that is, so weekly tarot reading uh, February 21st up until uh, February 27th, 2022nd and uh, if you do enjoy uh, the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads nor our live streams as well. And uh, with that being said, let's uh, move to the draw of the cards. So the first card you do have a Libra, that will be the King of Cups. Uh, second one follows as uh, the Hermit. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the Chariot followed by the fourth one that stands for the seven of swords and the final card for you libra that stands as the tower and now i do want to draw one more card for the king of cups so i will be able to tell you a little bit more about this person and uh, the card for them it's actually really really good so we do have the nine of a pentacles all right so with that being said that was the draw and now let's move right away to the reading uh so you can see your cards on the screen here Virgo and I will start right away saying that I am not happy seeing those cards uh, by a large margin because second half of the week is the problem here I mean look at these cards this right there it's a recipe for disaster I'd say and it's a recipe for a huge disaster i mean things you can concoct uh, throughout the week are going to be and, and how literally with your own actions if you are not careful according to these cards you can definitely bury yourself in whatever enterprise you are developing so you have to be extremely careful and I will say it right here it is that the more selfish and bold you are with your approach thinking that you know everything and that you can do everything the less severe the, the more severe the destruction is going to be I mean we do have the tower card at the end and that is unavoidable you guys are going to undergo a transformation more or less these transformations always carry on unpleasant uh, circumstances or even consequences with them but the more selfish and bold you are with with your with your approach the 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 more severe those unpleasant consequences and circumstances are going to be those of you who are humble and who are understanding that not everything is about you understanding that uh, you know uh, w when you do something with with somebody because we do have that somebody here uh, the the whole situation must serve for both of you it's not just only you in it then I think that you can even reverse those unpleasant circumstances that could, that can come your way out of it. Uh, you can, uh, how can I put it into words? You can uh, even negate them. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that uh, towards the end of the reading when we reach the end of the week. But at the start of the week, things are going to look really, really well. Okay, I mean really, really well, because you are to be approached by that person we do have, uh, which is the King of Cups with uh, the Nine of Pentacles. And that is a uh, once-in-a-lifetime offer that is coming your way, King of Cups. They, they usually approach you with some kind of proposal or some kind of an offering. They are a very professional individuals even if it comes to relationships they act professionally and that is because king of cups it's a, a master of their emotions they they can always keep their cool uh they do not uh, uh exaggerate you know in these kind of stuff but having it catalyzed with the nine of pentacles there that literally, literally tells us that, that is a once in a lifetime offer about a big thing that is about to go off 
okay uh, that could be a, a, a relationship it could be a job business you know project whatever but from it you can win a, a great deal of benefits whether are emotional benefits or a, a physical benefits like money power a status influence and so on and so forth uh, the king of uh, cups they do not approach people randomly before they do approach somebody they are and i don't know how to put it into words i always struggle with english to explain that but they pretty much had you in their mind for a very long time they were observing you how you behave you know how you tackle with your things what you are capable of in general before they do decide all right that that person here that i am watching it's kind of like up to the task they are i don't want to say the word but it always comes but it almost comes that way they are worthy for for my proposal to take a part of my thing here and with the nine of pentacles as a catalyst oh boy that thing it's the job the project that if that's with a romantic incentive here that's the person who is capable to make you happy uh and uh that's the, the, the this is where the manis looms in really it's because the king of cups when it comes to romans they are very strange people could tell that they are very strange uh, and that is because they do not brag about their feelings i mean if you kind of like start dating and you are amongst people you know amongst the crowd walking out the street walking down the street or you are in a dinner they're not gonna show how much they love you or they are into you they're not gonna hold your hand they're not gonna flatter you in any way it's just they will feel it, it will feel like this is kind of like a business dinner and that is because the king of cups they believe that they're feelings are sacred and they are only meant for the person not for everybody around and you will see the difference when you are just two of you alone then it, that will be that this person is going to change to a completely different behavior where he's going to cradle you he's going to suffuse you with with their emotional content and so on and so forth but again amongst people it's going to feel like they are just a, a friend of yours or this is how at least you're gonna feel it out and this it is what may cause or provoke from your behalf uh libra the act to disaster but again we're gonna talk about that in a little bit further so what this is gonna lead to i mean the interaction with this person is gonna lead to um now that's awkward with taro i know what the card want to say it is just i don't know how to translate it um so the hermit it is when you do actually find the light that shines for you in the darkness just like the hermit is holding the lantern out there uh or if you will if you are finding yourself in a very dark place you do see the light at the end of the tunnel there so that is just only confirming here that the proposal of the uh, king of cups is going to be a huge thing for you it actually is going to be the only thing that matters something really substantial uh really essential for you to just be happy productive successful etc etc and uh, the hermit however kind of also brings up a uh, as an incentive of disagreements people that are not involved into that situation many of them are going to disagree with you to interact with the king of cups whether because these people want to be at the place of the king of cups or because they are just jealous or they just want you for themselves or they just have these genuine protective feelings people are going to encourage you not to take the deal whatever that deal is however that is because they cannot understand the situation and the hermit here points that even if there is nobody there to applaud you you have to or you, you should give it a go you should at least consider exploring that uh, that proposal of the king of cups that is because like i said it, it will happen to be very essential and here is the key avoiding the disaster afterwards because when the hermit plays out you have to set your emotions aside even if it is about romance here and you need to approach the the, the opportunity here 
with intelligence and wisdom. You approach it emotionally, it's not going to play out very well because, like you see, the King of Cups not very emotional into crowded places, and therefore you can't actually outburst on them in a crowd place. Say you are invited on a dinner with a friend of yours uh, to a friend of yours that person doesn't show any emotional affection towards you and you outburst there emotionally and that is the end it's just all it is finito okay and that emotional outburst of yours we may see here into the seven of uh into the seven of swords where towards the end of the week you may kind of like a, by observing the situation you may see that you are not getting what you think you deserve all the time and that you have to have it your way and to demand that your way is kept and once that happens uh the tower card plays out and that is in that particular case the card of passion showing that things are gonna rumble and fall down it's just the whole partnership or the interaction in between you and the king of cups is going to be annihilated to the ground now having the chariot into the second into the third position here of the spread that is the middle of the week for you and the chariot points that at that stage you both are going to start considering that probably things are moving on a little bit more faster and rapid than they should so either you or the king of cups will decide to put a break on the whole thing just to give each other space and as well time to consider you know what that interaction whether it is a business or a romantic in or it has romantic incentive is going to bring to both of you and even that could be the uh, uh, the predisposition for you outbursting or just uh, acting in a way that you do demand things you think you deserve or things you think that that king of cups own you for as far as this reading is concerned and up until the end of the week that guy or a woman doesn't own you anything nor you own them anything as well you both are just you know playing out with each other to see how the game is going to fit into either of uh, either of each uh, of either of one of you whatever you call it lives so by the end of the week, you are going to face a, uh, a transformation. Whether it is a transfer transformation realizing that you cannot outburst whenever things doesn't go your way because, you know, other people are also involved or one in particular is also involved in, uh, in the situation. It affects them just as much as it affects you. And it's just like I said, the, um, the whole outcome needs to serve both of you or whether it is a transformation you realizing that if it does not serve both of you then there is no point moving forward which is the diminishing of the negative uh, consequences of the tower card that is based uh, that will be based on your actions here my appeal to you it is that when you are approached and you know when things slow down and you do not see the expected behavior from that person give the man or the woman a space be more patient and imagine or rather like take it that we are not all of the same you act in one way somebody acts in another and it all comes to that can these both ways you know fit together if they can that's great if they cannot well that's also great because at least you ain't gonna waste your time with anybody but it seems that you can align it here it's just more patience and as well um, tenacity if you will it's needed but not aggression not demands not being uh, unyielding about how you want things to go forward and so on and so forth so be prepared for that Libra it seems that the a major uh, a major player it's about to enter your life uh, and under player I mean a figure that is about to make you an offer should you take the offer be patient with it because like I said at the start it seems that it's not going to play out exactly of your expectation. That may drive you crazy and um, you can actually annihilate the whole thing out there. So yeah, that being said, that was your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, Libra, and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.